Zero, let's talk about the scat pack, man. Let's talk about the scat pack and why you should get a scat pack over an RT as well as a Hellcat. Just get the scat pack. You get the best of both worlds, and I'm going to talk about it right now. Scat pack. This, this, this particular scat pack right here is going to be a Dodge Challenger scat pack with the plum crazy, plum crazy, purple. Uh, We're going to talk about why you should get a scat pack, but let's do a quick little overview review of this bad boy before we talk about why i think you should get a scat pack over a rt as well as a hellcat and any other trim why the scat pack is the ultimate the ultimate trim first off let's look at this bad boy this particular one is going to be a last call edition it's going to have that plum crazy purple on it as well as it just looks so good man look at that look at that look at that color right there got the he's got the regular old challenger front we can't say regular. Oh, it's got the regular Challenger front. It's going to have the open arrow in the lights, cut into the lights. What do you mean, T-Light? Let me get close for you because you might not understand what I'm saying. See, I put my hand in there. That's open. You know what I'm saying? Open arrow, more air until the uh, that motor. Keep that big boy 644 motor breathing real good. Got your open arrow at the bottom as well as the top. You got your... Uh, that's going to be lane assist. I mean, not lane assist. That's going to be for cruise control. Keep you cruising at a safe distance. Yes, sir take those off or keep them on those are going to be for when you these right here people think those are like mods those are not mods those are actually for shipping so you can either take them off or keep them on i myself would tell you to take them off and put some 3m tape under them that way it doesn't keep rubbing against your uh, splitter and make that little indentation if you want to keep them on make sure you do it the right way if you're going to do that we're going to work our way to the side look at that we got them nice little 20 inch wheels now the problem with this setup on here, the 20 inch wheels, when you buy a scat pack, you're going to get the 20 inch wheels most likely. You're going to get the four piston Brembo's. You might get lucky and get some, I don't think you can get six piston, but you get the four piston Brembo's, but they're going to give you those bogus 245 tires. See those 245 tires with the uh, 45 sidewall? You got to get bigger tires. I would say at least get you some 275s all the way around. I actually would go with a 275 in the front. 305 in the back myself that's what i had in my setup when i had a hellcat i had a hellcat slim body just like this but i had 275s in the front 305s in the back fit perfectly no rub or nothing like that so for those of you gonna be worried about that it's not gonna rub the two 3015s in the back gonna fit perfectly but yeah you got your nice little uh emblem on the side three 392 badge can't go wrong with the 392 badge work our way a little bit further in the back but well, actually, let's go inside this bad boy. Open it. We're going to have the Alcantara leather. Got the Scat Pack emblem. Alcantara the leather means Alcantara in the middle, leather on the outside. Signifying you got a 345. I said 345, 392. Smack yourself, T-Light. I said 345. I meant 392. 345 is for the RT. And you look real close. You got the little B emblem. Yes, sir. But yeah, look good inside this bad boy, man. You know, got your little moon roof right there. Got your little screen right there, handle, your shifter, uh, granite color. It's pretty much granite color all the way on the Declan and all that stuff. Alcatel, Alcatel in the back. I can't speak because I, I just ate a chocolate chip cookie and it's killing me. It's put so much alive in the mouth. But yeah, it's looking good. But uh, yeah, this bad boy looking good. Got the Challenger on there right there. That's nice right there. That's extra right there. It's brand new for the 2023, 2024s. Actually, you can only get a 2023. I don't think you can get 2024 last call. Got the scat pack right there. Put that right there. Hit that little button right there. Open that on up. You throw the haters in the trunk. All the haters is hating on your scat pack, mad at you, wishing they had the scat pack, trying to say you should have got a Hellcat. Throw them in the trunk. And then you do it like this. Once you throw them in the trunk, shed it. And they say, I got a scat pack. Yeah, real nice. Dual exhaust. As you can see, I get down so you can see a dual exhaust, but a uh, nice little fuel cap. But let's get inside this bad boy and talk about. It. Let's see how much it costs before we talk about it. This particular one is gonna cost you fifty-eight thousand dollars. It's gonna be a last uh, call version. Ask a, also, it's a Scat Pack Plus, so you're paying a little extra money. You probably, if you want a base Scat Pack, it's gonna cost you forty-seven thousand dollars. This one is fifty-seven, so for another twelve thousand dollars of extra stuff. You're going to get $58,000, which is a fair deal if you're going to get $12,000 extra stuff. But let's get inside this bad boy. We're not going to shut the door because it's cooking and magooking in here. But yeah, a lot of people ask me, why you say get a scat pack over an RT or a Hellcat? Because it's the sweet spot. You know what I mean? The sweet spot. Right smack dab in the middle is that white spot. 
See, with a Hellcat, you got 700 plus horsepower, but you're never going to use that power. And when you do use that power, you can't put down the power right. So you're spinning. If you're racing, if you're spinning, you ain't winning. You ain't winning if you're spinning. I see scat packs beat Hellcats all the time in the quarter mile. Because if you're spinning, you just ain't winning. You want to hook and book. And this one, when it comes to an RT, you can get all the same thing as an RT. To, you can get your RT to look like this inside and everything. But the RT doesn't have the, 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 the 485 horsepower. It's got 375 or it's a 373. I'm not for sure. A lot of people say it's 385. It's just Dodge dumbed it down. I don't know. You gotta you gotta ask somebody with an RT. I haven't had an RT in a long time, but I did have an RT shaker. It was quick. I mean, it was it was it was it was quick. It was fast. It's not super fast, but it definitely was fast. But it ain't faster than no Scat Pack. You know what I'm saying? It ain't faster than no Scat Pack. Not saying a Scat Pack is the fastest thing in the world because it's not. And a Scat Pack is definitely not faster than a Hellcat because once that Hellcat does hook put that power down it's gonna fly past this scat pack like it ain't nothing but until then like i said spinning ain't winning it you can control the power of the scat pack much better you can definitely control this car way better than you can control the hellcat and is you can definitely control it better than you i ain't gonna say you can control it better than the rt because the rt it's only got 380 375 horsepower so not that hard to control but this one you can smoke these tires down the block like i always say but you can smoke the tires down the block controllably if you know what i mean controllably but yeah you get the same look as a hellcat like i always say it's gonna look just like a hellcat and an rt and even that they, they they even got the last car gts those new gts look like uh scat packs and hellcats the uh gt last cars the ones they put all the brimbos and all that on those look good too now but you're gonna get the look of the challenger hellcat and rt you're not gonna have the power but you don't need 700 horsepower to get busy. 485 is more than enough, you know what I mean? You can't really mod this motor. I'm going to keep it real. This is not the type of motor you want to be modding a lot because it's pretty much already pushed to the max. I mean, you can put some long tube headers on it and everything. I wouldn't recommend you supercharge. If you do, I wouldn't do no more than like three pounds of boost. I wouldn't go crazy with the boost because you don't want to the motor can't handle it. it's gonna blow unless you re rebuild the bottom end and that's gonna cost you money you might as well have got a hellcat so but it's a sweet spot man you get to feel the power you control the power when you punch it on the gas you feel it when you punch on the gas in a hellcat you don't really get to feel the, the excitement of you hearing it feeling it jerk and all that it just you can control this power much 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 more as well as it's much more affordable as well as your insurance going to be much cheaper. You're probably going to burn about the same amount of gas because it's still a, this motor is actually bigger than the motor in the Hellcat. Only thing that makes the motor in the Hellcat more powerful is that supercharger that sits on top of the 6. Point, I think this is 6.2, 6.2 liter V8. This is a 6.4 liter V8. So you actually have a bigger motor. You just don't have a blower. And if you put a blower on this one, it just can't handle it because... You got to build that bottom end. So you actually got a bigger motor than a Hellcat. You just don't have a blower. So it's just, you can afford this. It's definitely more, it just, it's more affordable. You see more, you're going to see a lot of people with scat packs, but it ain't. I know people like, man, they're everywhere. They're not everywhere. You, you, they're not. You're probably going to see a couple scat packs a day, but you're not going to see no 40, 50, 60 scat packs. Like you see 40, 50 GTs, 40, 50 Camrys, 40, 50, uh, honda of course it's not that it, it, it's rare than those cars i mean a lot of people get these cars because it, i mean they can't they can't afford the scat pack i mean the hellcat or they just don't want to deal with the insurance and they just don't want to deal with the um problems that come with a hellcat now scat packs get stolen too just like hellcats rts any mopar is this is going to be a, a target so i just want you to know any kind of mopar is going to be a target no matter what. So you just want to protect yourself with these cars. Especially if you buy one of these cars. I know I'm going to get a little off subject. If you buy one of these cars, you definitely want to have a garage. Get you a nice little alarm system. And just keep your head on a swivel, you know. Make sure ain't nobody following you. Make sure you when you go to the car show, you lock your car. Make sure nobody put those little uh, tracking device, uh, uh, iPad, iPod, whatever the things is. iTags. And follow you home and figure out where your car is. Just, just, just be weary, man, because they're easy to steal, and a lot of people steal these bad boys. But 
If people ask me, man, what would you get? I mean, I would get a Hellcat because I just like the, the speed. But if I'm not trying to be like out there like that, I want to be fast, but I don't want to be out there like that. I'm going with the RT, uh, the RT Scat Pack. The RT Scat Pack is the sweet spot. You can punch this bad boy, feel that speed. It's fast. It still looks just as cool. You get damn near just as much respect. Everybody likes scat packs. I don't know nobody that don't like scat packs. What the lady say? That's a scat pack. He got a scat pack. Yeah, scat packs is popular. So I just wanted to touch bases with y'all, man. Let's pop this up so you can see that, that beautiful motor. I just wanted to touch bases with y'all, let y'all know why I think you should get a scat pack over a Hellcat and an RT. And they go that beautiful 6.4 liter powered by SRT and that scat T. Look at that pretty bad boy. Look at that pretty thing. Look at that pretty thing. Look good, don't it? Nice little air box. I mean, this is lovely. It's lovely. And like I said, this is the last call for those who want to, oh, you know, sir, it is a last call, man. Quit the hate, man. It's definitely a last call, but yeah. Like I said, the scat pack is a sweet spot. You can't go wrong with a scat pack. For those who got scat packs and be thinking you should get a Hellcat, man, if you can't afford a Hellcat, don't get no Hellcat. Stick with your scat pack. You got yourself a monster. You got yourself a lovely car. You got yourself a winner, winner chicken dinner. Look how beautiful this is. And that's either that's even if you got a slim body, which this is a slim body, or a wide body. You just can't go wrong. You definitely got yourself something nice. So don't never look down and be like, man, I need to get a Hellcat. You don't need to get a Hellcat. You perfectly fine with your scat pack. Even the RT guys, don't get it wrong. I'm not trying to dish you or nothing like that. I'm just saying this video is for my scat pack guys and gals. Get you a scat pack, man. Go to a couple of cars and coffee, a couple of car shows. Get into the culture. Enjoy it. Love it for what it is. You know, punch on the gas a little bit at the light speed. Go on and get you a nice little, uh, probably going to have to get a muffler to leak to open it up a little bit. But, yeah, if not, it's still, it still sound good. But go ahead and get your old muffler delete. Make it sound a little bit better. Muffler delete ain't going to do nothing. It ain't going to hurt the car. Don't let nobody tell you it's going to hurt the car. It's not. It's not going to throw no signals or nothing like that. I had a... I had like three or four uh, Mopars, and they all had muffler deletes on them. One of my hell hat cat had a delete first, and then I got a real uh, exhaust, custom exhaust on it. But go and get your muffler delete. Open this bad boy up so everybody can know what you're doing when you're doing what you're doing. But with that being said, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all, man. I appreciate the love y'all showing me. Y'all stay safe out there. Stay away from those negative people, man. Get to the get to the money, and then go home and be with your family. Live your life. Get you a Mopar or whatever kind of car, Ford, uh, Chevy, whatever you got. Hell, I got a, I got a ZL11LE I, right now. I went from a Hellcat to the ZL1. I love all cars, but off subject. But, man, y'all stay safe, man. Y'all stay away from the haters. Live your life. It's your boy T. Light. Shout out to the Werewolf Gang. I love y'all. Light crew, I love you. I'm going to slide on the body here. <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs> Promise that you never be lonely. Be the fam, that's what they call